അടുത്തകാലത്ത് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യനിൽ ഫസ്റ്റ് സെമി എം എ ഇന്ത്യൻ ഇക്കോണമി ഇന്ത്യൻ ഇക്കോണമി പ്രോബ്ലംസ് ആൻഡ് പോളിസീസ് ടു തൗസൻഡ് നയൻറ്റീൻ ആൻഡ് ട്വൻറ്റി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് റൈറ്റ് എ ഷോർട്ട് നോട്ട് ഓൺ മേക്ക് ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ ഇനീഷ്യേറ്റീവ് മേക്ക് ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ ഇനീഷ്യേറ്റീവ് ഫ്രം ദീസ് വേൾഡ് യു ഗോട്ട് സം ഐഡിയ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ടു മേക്ക് ഇന്ത്യ മോർ ഇനീഷ്യേറ്റീവ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വാട്ട് ആർ ദ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ഡെഫിനിഷൻ ആൻഡ് വാട്ട് അബൌട്ട് ദ മീനിങ് ഓഫ് മേക്ക് ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ ഇനീഷ്യേറ്റീവ് ഇൻ ദ ഇയർ ഓഫ് ടു തൗസൻഡ് ഫോർട്ടീൻ അവർ പ്രൈം മിനിസ്റ്റർ നരേന്ദ്രമോദി ഇൻ ദ ഡേ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് സെപ്റ്റംബർ ട്വൻറ്റി ഫിഫ്ത് ഇൻട്രഡ്യൂസ് മേക്ക് ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ ഇനീഷ്യേറ്റീവ് ദിസ് ഈസ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് നാഷണൽ പ്രോഗ്രാം മേക്ക് ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ ഇനീഷ്യേറ്റീവ് ആൻഡ് നാഷണൽ പ്രോഗ്രാം ഇൻട്രഡ്യൂസ് ഇൻ ദ ഇയർ ഓഫ് ടു തൗസൻഡ് ഫോർട്ടീൻ സെപ്റ്റംബർ ട്വൻറ്റി ഫിഫ്ത് അവർ പ്രൈം മിനിസ്റ്റർ ലോഞ്ച് ഇറ്റ് ദെൻ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ മെയിൻ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ഓർ സിഗ്നിഫിക്കൻറ്റ് സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ഈസ് ദാറ്റ് ടു ഡെവലപ്പ് ഇന്ത്യൻ ഇക്കോണമി ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് സിഗ്നിഫിക്കൻറ്റ് സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് പ്രോഗ്രാം ഈസ് ദാറ്റ് ടു ഡെവലപ്പ് ഇന്ത്യൻ ഇക്കോണമി ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് അറ്റ് ദ സെയിം ടൈം ദ മെയിൻലി ടു ഡെവലപ്പ് ഇന്ത്യൻ ഇക്കോണമി ഇറ്റ് ഫോളോ ദാറ്റ് ടു എൻകറേജ് എം എൻ സിസ് ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് ഡൊമസ്റ്റിക് companies to manufacture their products in india it encourage mnc's that is mnc means multinational corporations and domestic company our own company to manufacture their products in india this is the main important purpose of this program that is to allow mnc and domestic company to manufacture their products their products in india so in that case better qualitative product produced in india <coughs> this is possible in the case of this make in india that is make in india initiative then so this is introduced in 2014 that is september 25th the main purpose is that to develop indian economy then it encourage mnc and that's multinational corporations and the domestic company our company to produce that, that is to manufacture their products in india this is the meaning of this program make in indian that is make in india initiative then we analyze what about the important definition of in that is make in india initiative definition is that to make and encourage companies to develop manufacture to develop manufacture and assemble products made in india and incentivize with dedicated investment into manufacturing sector there are in this definition it included four important points the first point is that that is to encourage our companies that is to encourage domestic companies at the same time to develop manufacturing and assemble the product our companies to develop that is in the case of manufacture and assemble their products at the same time this is made in india and incentivize give some incentive with dedicated investment into manufacturing sector that is to accept that is fdi foreign direct investment in manufacturing sector to promote domestic company at the same time that is multinational companies or here there is a accept foreign direct investment and to produce that is manufacturing products in india that is the sum and substance or that is the meaning of this definition definition is that that is to make and encourage the companies to develop manufacture and assemble products not only manufacture at the same time assemble the products that is made in india that is domestic product at the same time incentivize that is incentivize with dedicated investment that is it accept foreign direct investment in that is in the case of into manufacturing sector in short that is to encourage domestic companies and multinational companies that is to encourage our com- that is companies and the multinational corp- that is multinational corporations manufacture their products in india allowing that is 
they manufacture they, that manufacture their products in India. That is the main important points. That is the meaning of that is the made in India. That is initiative. That is in the case of in that case it leads to the the main objective is that transforming India into global manufacturing hub. Transforming India into global manufacturing hub. That is the main important purpose or main important objectives of that is that is main important objectives of make in India that is make in India initiative. That is, that is transforming India into global, that is international level manufacturing hub. So we are compete, domestic company and the MNCs, that is domestic company, they are competing with to produce better qualitative product like the products in the multinational corporation. That is MNCs and domestic company, they are manufacture the products in India. That is the main important, that is main important mean, that is important meaning of that is make in India. In, that is trans that is initiative introduced in 2014 our prime minister narendra modi september 25th thus transform or change india as here there is a global manufacturing hub then then we explain what are the important objectives of what are the important objectives of this make in india initiative there are so many objectives here the first is that attract investment. Second is that utilization of talent base. And third is that ease of doing business. And fourth is encourage innovation. And next, skill development. And next, next point is that protection of intellectual property. And last, the next point is that build best class of manufacturing, that is infrastructure. And last is that zero defect and a zero effect these are the main important objectives of make in india initiative what are the main important objective what is that attract investment that is in this definition you already explained that incentive that incentive wise with the indicated investment it is show that now india allowing or attract foreign investors here allowing foreign investors they are ready to produce or manufacture better products thus attracting investment or attract fdi foreign direct investment this is one of the important objective of that is initiative attract investment or attract foreign investors to invest or accept fdi foreign direct investment thus now we are able to produce not only Indian products at the same time other companies products also produced in India is the main important objective that is to attract investment or now we are accept foreign investors to invest in India like that is foreign direct investment and second is that utilization of Indian talent base now we are able to use better new that better use or utilization of Indian talents Another important objective is of Make in India initiative. And next point is that ease of doing business. So in that case, in order to avoid or removal of so many rules and regulations, so our business become more soft or at the same time to work very smoothly. So in order to that is business or our companies to promote these companies or our business, avoid unnecessary rules and regulations. That is the another important objective of make in india initiative and next point is that encourage innovation in order to encourage innovation new ideas and new technology this is completely adopted some young generations new ideas and new technology accepted here this automatically promote our innovation that is the another important that is objective of make in india initiative and next is that skill development for that is because of in order to promote skill development one side it avoid the skill gap at the same time existing skill they are able to use new that is ideas and new technology that is one side it remove the skill gap at the same time existing technology they are ready to accept new ideas and new technology that is the another important objective here 
and next is the protection of intellectual property in order to promote intellectual property they are promote that is patent rights and trademarks that is the another important objective of the make in india initiative so it protect the patent rights at the same time trademarks that is the another important step for economic development of indian economy and next is that build the best class of manufacturing infrastructure in order to promote manufacturing sector here there is a need of infrastructure development so best development of infra like transport communication banking insurance completely promoted here so thus there is a improvement in our manufacturing sector and last point is that zero defect zero effect zero defect show that if you practice adopt advanced process and better technology better innovative method better ideas definitely there that's products in the manufacturing sector this is better or to avoid defect there is no defect here if you adopt advanced technology advanced the process new ideas new information new technology it can avoid that is the zero defect in the manufacturing product at the same time if the products are better that is better advanced the process and better technology that is such a manufacturing product does not create any adverse that is ad, adverse impact to on our that is adver, adverse impact to on environment does not create any problem now we completed what are the important objectives of make in india initiative next we going to explain what about the four important pillars of make in india initiative that is based on this important foundation or pillars are the first is that here there is a introduction of new mindset and second is that new sectors and third is new infrastructure and last is that new processes these are the four important pillars of make in india initiative that's new mindset accepting new technology and at the same time new ideas and new information completely accepted from young generation thus the creation of new mindset at the same time second is the new sectors it completely adopted various sectors example automobile automobile components civil aviation then biotechnology different sectors etc thus it completely change or transforming the existing sectors so introduction of new new sectors in our economy that is the second important new sectors adoption of biotechnology then change or transform in that is defense industry then automobile civil aviation etc these then chemicals and pharmaceuticals these are the various sectors adopted here that is known as new sectors and third is the new infrastructure completely change our infrastructure in order to develop our industrial sector or manufacturing sector not only in domestic at the same time here there is a development of mnc's for that purpose complete transformation or change our infrastructure new ideas are implemented transport communication banking insurance marketing etc that is the another important pillar here and last is that new processes completely adopting new process that is because of introduction of innovation new process introduced here so based on new ideas new technology new process also adopted here these are the four important pillars of make in india initiative that is new mindset new sectors new process and new infrastructure these are the four important pillars and next is that what are the important advantages of new, that is make in india initiative based on the objective be, that is, which are the important advantage here the first is that here there is a new job opportunities but that is because of this new new job opportunities are that is introduced in indian economy mainly because of the rapid development of industrial sector at the same time tourism then 
this may lead to the new job opportunities are introduced here it increasing the employment opportunities because of rapid transformation our trans that is tourism sectors at the same time industrial sector it increase the employment opportunities and second is that Im that is improvement in areas various areas are adopted here that is in the earlier we promoting only the agriculture sector because the development the development of industrial sector and at the same time new infrastructure new tourism this may lead to the that is improvement in various sectors plus new job opportunities are entered in our economy that is second important point and third is that increase gdp here there is a increased gdp that is the third important advantage because of the make in india initiative because of complete transformation of index that is indian economy through the industrial sector so because of the transformation of industrial sector infrastructure etc this automatically increase our gross domestic product thus increase our national income that is the another important advantage because the rapid development of industrial sector automatically increase our gdp and next is that strengthening the value of rupee because because of the practice of fdi or adoption of fdi foreign direct investment this increase the value of rupee that is because of the process of adoption that is fdi in order to promote our investors now we accepted fdi this strengthening the value of rupee rupees value it automatically increasing because of the accept that is accepting condition of fdi for direct investment and next is the promotion of local brand not only promoting there is multinational corporation also promoting domestic companies so here there is a promotion of local brands new new that is technology or new ideas new innovative method now this is also applicable to the or adopted to the local brand that is local companies also adopted new innovative method and new ideas and new technology this promoting or increasing innovative method or promoting our local brand new idea that is young generation new ideas new information new technology new innovation this promoting our local companies or local brand also that is the another important advantage and next is the technological advancement that's one of the important advantage is that now we are adopting new technology because of the development of new technology it automatically increasing or promoting our innovation that is the another important advantage technological improvement or technological advancement and next is the simplification of business that is because that is it avoid or remove instead yeah, that is already we study that ease of doing business that is complete removal of unnecessary norms and conditions and rules and regulation it is very easy to start our business so it is the and that is simplification of business so that it avoid or remove unnecessary rules and regulations it start that is it promote to starting new business and new companies that is the another important advantage and next is the creative ideas from young generation already we explain here now we are accepting new ideas new information new technology all these ideas from young generation it to promote advancement of technology and advancement of innovation that is the another important advantage that is creative ideas from young generation or accepting new ideas new information new technology at the same time promoting innovation so that is the another important advantage making india initiative and last is that development of rural it, that is india it is shown that here there is a development of remote areas or remote that is here there is a development of rural area means that here there is a development of remote areas but these are the main important advantages of make india initiative that is the first is that new job opportunities second is that improvement in areas 
and third is that increase gdp gross domestic product and next strengthening the value of rupee and next is that promotion of local brand then technological advancement next simplification of business and next creative ideas from gen young generation and last is that development of rural india these are the main important advantages of make in india initiative and let's see that what are the important disadvantages based on the objective which are the important advantage here at last we come to the conclusion that what are the important disadvantages of make in india initiative the first is that exclusion of agriculture only promoting industrial sector complete avoid or exclude our agriculture sector so that is the important weakness only promoting agriculture sector and avoid or exclude our agriculture sector what is the, that is the important disadvantage here and second is that exploitation of resources does it does not the consider our natural resources exploitation of resources not in a proper manner that is natural resources does not utilize or does not consider our natural resources that is the second important disadvantage here and third is that loss to the small scale entrepreneurs only considering here there is a industrial sector at the same time promoting only the medium and large scale industries does not consider tiny and small entrepreneurs here only promoting large scale entrepreneurs does not promoting small scale and tiny entrepreneurs that is the another important disadvantage because large scale entrepreneurs they are only strengthened or they are highly developed career that highly developed in nature there is no need of strengthening these parties or strengthening these entrepreneurs at the same time here there is a complete exclusion of small scale entrepreneurs that is the another important weakness and next is the loss of cultivable land at the same one set neglect our agriculture sector at the same time here there is a cultivable land that is land also creating losses if that does it that is no promotion to the agriculture sector it is creating loss making our cultivable land and next is that no loss to other sectors not only cultivable land at the same time other sectors also running with losses one is that neglect our agriculture due to the neglect of agriculture most of the agriculture land become loss making tendency not only cultivable land other sectors also they are making losses and last is that pollution because of the rapid transformation of india it will lead to the highly development of industrial sector or manufacturing sector it increasing environmental pollution or ecological problem here here there is a pollution because of rapid transformation of industrial sector and the manufacturing sector it create highly pollution or adversely affect our environment these are the main important disadvantage here one is that exclusion of agriculture sector and second is exploitation of resources and third is law that is loss to the small scale entrepreneurs then loss to the cultivable land loss to other sectors and last is the pollution these are the main disadvantage here now we conclude here make in indian that is make in india initiative firstly explain what about the meaning and second is that what about the definition and third is that what are the important objectives and fourth what about the important pillars of make in india initiative then fifth what are the important advantages and last is that what are the important disadvantages of make in india initiative thank you